I've previously done videos on NixOS where I've shown you how to install an app store, how to change the GUI, how to do other additional settings. And all of these require some intimate knowledge of editing the configuration on Nix file, at least until what I've shown you today. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've actually gone ahead and created a couple of scripts that makes it easier to use Nix OS. And these scripts basically work by editing your configuration on Nix file. And I do want to suggest that, that you only use these if you are have done a brand new installation like I've got of Nix OS and you want to get things up and running a bit quicker. So let me first show you if we go to GitLab, you're going to see here we've got uh, Nix OS. Under Nix OS, we go to scripts. And under scripts, you're going to see uh, these two are still beta, so I don't recommend using them just yet. But we have the CLI app store, which I'm going to show you today. And we'll do a uh, latest stage another video on the Nix OS GUI changer script. So, what is the CLI app store? So, essentially, what I've done is I've gone and written a script that basically mimics a, com a complete uh, app store. And essentially, uh, it's all CLI based, so you don't have to uh, worry about too many dependencies and that type of thing. And I'm going to show you how it works. First thing that we're going to need, we're going to actually need to clone the repo. And because Nix uh, doesn't have git out of the box, I need to, I'm going to do nix-shell-p git, which will, in the background goes and install gits and it is valid for the remainder of the shell is alive. Valid for the remainder of the shell alive. So now I'm going to clone the repo. So I'm going to go git clone, https, gitlab.com, gosh, dash, it's dash arch, Linux, forward slash, nixos.git. It's gonna clone it into a folder. And if I go here, and I change it to the Nix OS folder. I'm gonna go into scripts. And of course you'll see the files are here. So I'm going to do chmod plus x asterisk.sh and that is to make these files executable. So you'll see here's a CLI app store, which is a app store for Nix OS I've written in using bash. So if I try to run it just out the box to CLI, it tells you it needs to be run as sudo root. So let's do that. sudo dot forward slash nixos CLI app store authenticate. And it tells you, thank you for using Garsha's Arch app store. The script will modify and install packages system wide, use at own risk. Right. So one, if I do an application search, I can enter the name of a package, hit enter, and it's going to search. The first time you run this command, it might pull in quite a lot of packages because it has to t break and make a whole copy of the uh, Nix packages. Um, so you could have a bit of high CPU usage when that happens for the first time. The other times when you run it, it's going to be a lot quicker. So here, for example, it shows us this uh, Emacs and Emacs 29, if I hit enter, I can do another application search. So let's, I want to search for VLC, I hit enter. It's gonna take a couple of seconds here while it goes through the list. And when it's got a result, it will pop it on the screen like here. Go on, we hit enter. Now, if I want to show what installed applications I've got, I've just got VLC and OBS uh, in pre-installed. I needed those to record this video. So how do we add an application now? Well, we're gonna to go to three, which says add an application. And we're gonna add uh, what application do we want to add? So in my case, I'm going to do LibreWolf. I'm gonna hit enter. It tells you it's been added. So it's added to the configuration file at the back and doesn't need to do rebuild. So I'm gonna say yes. And essentially, of course, it's rebuilding. And by doing a rebuild, it's of course pulling down the uh, packages for LibreWolf in the back end. So we let it finish its command. All right, uh, just type in LibreWolf and you'll see LibreWolf is now 
fully installed. Right, I go back here and I see uh, to show me the installed applications, you'll see that LibreWolf is here. Right, so what it's actually doing in the back end is if I was to do a, uh, is nano installed? Yeah. So if I was to do a sudo nano, nano etc nix os configuration of nix and I was to open it up, if I go down here, you'll what you'll actually see that uh, my script is doing is it's adding it under the system profile. So it's literally adding these here. So if we add, it writes name. If we remove it, it takes it out. Okay. Now, we can also add multiple applications at a time. So let's I go to number five. And we want to add one or two things at uh, the same time here. So let's say, for example, I want to add Thunderbird space Emacs. And let's say I want to also add, I don't know, um, Carlson. Okay, I hit enter. Whilst we don't want to rebuild, I'm going to say yes. And you guessed it is going to pull down these applications again. And it will rebuild it. If I was to just show you again the file, we're just done. You'll see it's just, it added all of them one by one. Okay. So if I go here, there's Thunderbird has been added and Calce added as well. And Emacs as well, so those are all added. So how do I remove an application? So we go to option four, type the name of the application you'd like to remove. And let's say we're going to, in this case, we're going to remove a Libre Wolf, but I wanna show you, I wanna show you something quickly as well. So if I go to uh, Nix OS search packages and we were to go Libre Wolf, Sorry. Uh, you would see that uh, I can choose it. And, and the configuration you can also do packages, start Libre Wolf, and I'm going to come back to that now. Uh, why I've brought that up in the meantime. So let's just remove Libre Wolf. Libre Wolf, it's been removed, yes. And you guessed it, what's it done? It's removed it from the configuration file. Okay, but let's say let's say we want to add something like Brave. All right. And let's say, remember, we can either add it as just Brave in the config file or packages.brave. And what this does here, if I was to add an application, and let's say I add it as pkgs.brave, and I do a switch rebuild. What the script actually does in the back end is it actually sanitizes that PKGS. So what it does here, it actually removes it so that it will just show up as just normal Brave in the configuration file because you don't obviously need to add the PKGS. Pretty neat. And doing it this way, of course, you get to have your configuration file is kept with a certain standard. So you don't have to worry about uh, making changes, uh, etc. So you have cons consistency. So again, let's say I want to uh, show what unstored apps I've got. Well, OBS Studio, VLC, Thunderbird, Emacs, Brave are all installed. Uh, remove multiple applications is pretty much what it says. So let's say that we want to remove Emacs and we want to remove Brave, we hit enter, yes, rebuild, and guess what? It removes it again from the configuration file. Okay, so what is this user text file option? So firstly, if you just select it, it tells you can't find packages.txt in the current directory. 
So what we need to do is we have to go to the directory where the NixOS script is, which in my case is home NixOS scripts in here. Right, so this is the same directory that we made all these files executable. And we need to create a new text file and we need to call it packages.txt. Okay, I'm just gonna hit enter here. And what packages.txt does is I'm gonna open it up, normal text editor, and I'm just going to put in the name of some applications that I would possibly want on my machine. So let's say our clone, let's say we want Brave, let's say we want Emacs again, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, Pluma, so Mate.pluma, and let's say we want xfcd.mousepad, right, that's of course the names of those packages, so just to show you again, if I was to just search for mousepad, because as part of the XFCE environment, it's called XFCE.mouse page, you can see here. Right, okay, hit enter. So we're just adding a couple of names uh, to this packages. We've got a couple here. I'm just gonna save the file and I'm gonna close it. And if I now go back here and say seven, it asks me, would you like to add applications from packages.txt or remove applications list in packages.txt? So essentially, if I go one, it's been added. Yes, rebuild. So essentially what it does is if you have a list of packages on your machine and you want to do a quick uh, install of just those packages, you can, it will copy it to your configuration file, do a quick uh, rebuild and it's installed them on your machine. Okay, so now let's say we're gonna do the opposite. So we going to, we want to remove those specific applications. We can go to the same text file, remove the applications listed, and go rebuild. Right. And that's of course uh, what you can do. Yeah, so of course those apps are reinstalled and works pretty, pretty nicely. So if you've made all those changes, you just, and you want to see what's installed, these are the installed apps we have now. And uh, once you're done here, you can hit my exit and you're done. So folks, I uh, here's the basic CLI app store. Feel free to use it and let me know what you think. Uh, remember, it's recommended to only do it on a new NixOS installation and it will, of course, modify the package system wide. And uh, folks, as always, thank you for watching. Bye for now.